Yo, what is going on guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, aka The Clockmaster. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Season 1, Episode 1 premiere of Marvel's The Gifted. Now before I get into that guys, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe! And uh, for more news on The Gifted, I don't know if I'll keep on doing more uh, discussions concerning the show. Maybe, maybe not. Just depends. But um, if you want to see more, just let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see me talk, uh, do more reviews concerning this show. Now, I must say, guys, I saw the first episode last night, and I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, there's a lot of elements in this show uh, referring back to, and plus to a reason to why I didn't necessarily expect it to be as good as I as it turned out to be, was because it was from Brian Singer. Now, Brian Singer is a hit or miss director when it comes to X Men things. He did, I think, he did X Two, and I think he did the first one. Um, and he kind of has a hit or miss thing with his directing. A lot of people don't like Brian Singer, so because they heard Brian Singer being attached to this project, they're all of a sudden like, "No, I don't know about this. I don't know how I feel about this guy directing uh, this show." <laughs> but I must say, it's a lot better, and it's so much better than the Inhumans. I gotta say, Marvel actually really did need this TV show to do well because a lot of people, my, myself included, did not like Iron Fist. Defenders was, eh, it was okay. Inhumans was, eh, and after rethinking about it, it was just like, it's a big no. And one of the areas, and I'm gonna touch on certain things, one of the areas about this episode that made me really um, like it more than the Inhumans, because, uh, and just a disclaimer, there's nothing the show is nothing too crazy where it's like it's super amazing where it's like it's the best thing you'll ever watch in your entire life because it's not but the plot is pretty generic when it comes to certain things it's a typical x-men type uh, type storyline you have these kids that are mutants and the parents don't know the father works for a company that i guess imprisoned or uh, puts inhumans that commit crime, I mean inhumans, mutants, I'm sorry, correction, mutants to jail or something like that, or mutant jail, they arrest, he arrests them and everything like that, the kid, find, one of the kids finds out that he's a mutant, didn't know that, and the parents find out, and they're on the run from Sentinel, who, and they base, Sentinel basically is a federal organization that hunts down mutants, and they're on the run from them, and... They meet up with these other people, these other underground mutants that are running away from the law as well. So this show actually takes place, it is in connection with the current X-Men uh, franchise movies stuff, uh, especially with shows like Legion, how that ties in with the movies. It references a lot of the X-Men heavily, and they reference the Brotherhood as well, Magneto's regime. But we don't see the X-Men and the Brotherhood are gone, and we don't know if we'll actually ever see them again on the show. But this show takes place post X Men organization, post Brotherhood. They're gone, and it's actually referenced in the first episode. So I just like a little twist to it. But I don't know if we'll ever see any more Easter eggs concerning the X Men and the Brotherhood. So I'm, I'm interested to see if they're going to continue with that. But I must say, one of the things that makes this episode and this show so far better than the Inhumans is the actual production value. Now, for a budget TV show, a TV show that's being premiered on Fox, you wouldn't expect it to be as good as it did visually. Yes, there were a couple of things where the CGI and the effects were like, okay, it's, mm, it's all right, it's, it, it did its thing. But there were moments where it really looked amazing. It actually felt like I was watching a movie at certain points. Compared to the Inhumans that had twice the budget that The Gifted had, the set design was great, the costumes were great, like the outfits they were wearing were pretty good the special effects their abilities that they had was actually really really good and compared to compared that to inhumans it was just like a whole step up from that piece of trash now i gotta say one of my favorite things about this episode and what's actually has me more interested in watching the show is some of the characters and it's actually not the two main characters in the show so the show follows these two kids andy and lauren strucker i believe they're saying their last names right but those are not the characters I'm interested in. I'm actually interested in the other X-Men or the other mutants that are part of this underground organization. You have a new original character named Eclipse. And Eclipse, he kind of looks a little bit like Poe Dameron, in my opinion. He kind of like like a like like a brother or cousin. Um, but he has these this photon manipulation abilities and basically you can control light, bend it, radioactivity, things like that. And it's actually pretty cool. The CGI for his powers look really awesome. There's a part where he got shot in the arm in the in the beginning of the show and you can actually see the light emitting from his body 
which is pretty dope. And you have Blink. She's an original X-Men character, and she made her her debut on this show, and she basically can teleport, and her CGI was also pretty good for that. I'm excited to see her on the show, continue to see what she does. Then you have Polaris, which is awesome. Her CG as well was pretty cool. The beginning, the first 10 minutes of this show actually really did... Uh, have me intrigued it, like i said it wasn't it didn't blow my mind away but it definitely has me a lot more interested to see the next episode because that opening sequence was something it was pretty uh spectacular for what it was you know what i'm saying it was actually pretty good but uh polaris who is the daughter of magneto um she made an appearance here so i don't know if she has any ties to this will he be referenced in this will we see any members of the brotherhood at any point That'll be pretty awesome. And then you have a personal favorite of mine, which I didn't realize it was him until I looked at the cast afterwards, and I didn't realize it was him, but Thunderbird. Now, Thunderbird is actually... I actually was introduced to Thunderbird about a couple months ago when I was reading one of the True Believers series. Basically, True Believers is uh, in Marvel, uh, the comics is where they release, they re-release older comics, but they, it's like remastered, and it's, re you know, it's freshed up and everything like that, these older comics, and I have a whole bunch of X-Men True Believers, and that's when I first heard of, uh, uh, Thunderbird and Thunderbird is a Native American mutant and he can kind of like read things throughout the ground and he has super strength and has all this stuff and he's a pretty awesome character I really do like Thunderbird and I didn't realize that it was I was like I was, as I was watching and I was like wait a minute this guy this guy this guy is he Thunderbird or who is this and then at the end I was like oh shoot this is Thunderbird this is awesome so I, when I actually found out after that it was Thunderbird I'm like I want to see this show more. I want to see more of Thunderbird, which Thunderbird is an original X-Men character. So that is really awesome. Um, in one of the True Believer stories I read, uh, Thunderbird was actually brought in with some other mutants to go find the other X-Men that got captured on an island from an island monster. So that was actually pretty cool. But I'm excited to see Thunderbird. But all in all, guys, the show, I'm going to rate this episode so far. And the show so far, right now, it's sitting at 86% of Rotten Tomatoes, which is pretty much what I would give it right now. I'd give it maybe a 6.57. No, 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 a 7. Low side goes 6.5, but a 7 out of 10 so far. In humans, I've given humans right now like a like a 3 out of 10, man. It's 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 bad actually rethinking about it. But um the gifted so far is I'm giving it a seven a seven, six point five the lowest out of ten. Definitely interested to see it. Product like I said, production value on this show is really good. The acting chops in this show is actually surprisingly good as well amy acres in this as well i've seen a lot of stuff i actually saw her on macgyver i watched macgyver with my mother the uh, new macgyver that shows um every week every week on cbs i think it shows on i keep forgetting what, ch what, what channel it shows on but um we watch it and she made an appearance on that show as well and that's actually the first show i seen her in, and then i saw a couple of other stuff with amy Aker in it so she's in this it's gonna be amazing i think i, I personally think that either one of the parents of the of lauren or um uh, andy has to be a mutant obviously because two of them or their grandfather was a mutant because they in order for them to have the x gene that makes them a mutant they one of the parents has to be a mutant so either the mother was a mutant and she probably didn't tell her husband or maybe the husband was a mutant and he has his he got his abilities removed i don't know but We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for taking your time out to watch my little review on Season 1, Episode 1 of The Gifted. Like I said, if you have not seen this show, please take the time off and watch it. I do think it's worth watching, and I do think this show has potential to grow and become a successful series for both Fox, Marvel, and everyone else that's in between and involved in this show. So, once again, guys, subscribe. If you need want to see more Gifted, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to check out some videos right now. Clockmaster out.